Hi everybody, Wendy from Cinnamon Sweet Shop. Today I'm going to show you how I make this pal with the dot painted lid just using a 99 cent pal from the Dollar Tree and a 7 inch round wood disc from Walmart which cost about 99 cents and I also have a few little wooden knobs. You'll also need some paint and a stencil. I started by spray painting the pal with a matte black spray paint that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. I'm using a black matte chalk paste and I will be painting the disc both sides black. So what you'll need to make this are some dotting tools. I just have a whole bunch of old ones around. I don't recommend spending a lot of money and in the link below I do have an Amazon link where you can just get a whole set that has all different size tools and some stencils and anything to get you started. I have a stencil. Now this is a basic stencil. Let me hold it up to the disc so you could see. Just to give me an idea of guidelines, you could eyeball this if you would like. Some damp Q-tips. That's in case I screw up and I need to wipe it off. Uh, of course my paint. I have a whole bunch of different color shades of pink here. And then I have some white in case I want to mix it down to lighten a few colors. And here's the damp rag. I always have this. You, you could tell I got a lot of use out of this. And my dry rag is my tablecloth. It's an old towel I use. You, you could eyeball the stencil as well. I'm going to measure it out a little bit. So that's center there. And then just to make sure that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. And here I have a chalk pencil. And I'm just going to draw a little dot in here and then just go over these lines. So I'm going to start off with some cherry cobbler and I'll use one of my larger dotting tools. So from here, you just take this, hold it upright and carefully place it down into the center. And there you have your first dot. It's as easy as that. Then you want to make sure you wipe off the tools in between. So next I'm using some pink parfait. Bit of a larger tool. And take this in between these dots. Actually, I'm going to use smaller than this one. That's a little too large. Yeah, this one's better. So again, just dip that. I mean, you could draw these out on paper and practice first, but sometimes if it's drawn out, it doesn't always work. You know, sometimes things sound better in paper, but don't always work in reality. Now from here, I'm going to go to the next size up and make another row. So I am going to use some bright pink for this. And with another larger Dotting tool, let's use green. I'm gonna go around one more time with this. So I'm going back to Cherry Cobbler and I'm going to use one of my larger dotting tools for this one. And I wanna put it right there. So you see how it's turning out already, how nice it looks. And I'm going to show you a few tricks after this. Something we call walking the dots. So 
So I'm going to go back to the bright pink, just add a little bit more. Take one of my smaller dotting tools. This is real tiny. Now this is walking the dot. So you're going to make sure you thoroughly coat this. Start up in the center from here and just bring this all around the side of the dot. And you'll see the effect it has. Let me turn it this way. Each dot gets smaller and smaller because there's less paint. So to do the other side, I'm going to cover this again. Start back and re-dot that first one and go all the way around here like that. And I have my first dot. So once I finish the first set of walk in the dots, I'm going to go around again with the same dotting tool and do a second row. There I have two rows. I'm going to take this again. This time I'm going to use just white with my smallest, no, actually with one of the larger dotting tools again. I am going to go around again from here, just as far as I can go. Now, from here, I'm going to go back into that cherry cobbler and just make a small dot going around using a little bit larger tool for the next one just going on top right in front of that going back to the cherry cobbler with the large dotting tool again I'm just going to repeat this pattern so from here, I'm just going to bring the dot in fr front of those smaller ones I just did. So I finished around here, as you could see, and then to I want to fill in some of these dots. So what I did was I placed a little extra dot there, and I will go through here and just put some dots in there. These are white. I like white for highlights. Back with Cherry Cobbler. It's going to dot. And I will be going around this disc, but I want to make sure I get each one of these dotted. And then with Cherry Cobbler and a small dotting tool, I am going to go around. All right, you want to let this completely dry. Now, you can leave this as this is. It looks really nice the way it is. Or you can top dot, and it's a little technique that just gives it a little more texture. So I'm going to top dot some of these dots using that pink parfait. And then I have a, uh, a dotting tool that's smaller than these dots. I could even use a bigger one, but I'm going to stick with this. So dipping my paint. Now, you could top that right in the center, or you can kind of give it a little bit more of a fancy look by taking it to the edge and just top dotting it that way. Let me fill, fill that in a bit. Of course, you always want to make sure that your dots are completely dry underneath. Once this is dry, you just go through with an eraser and just erase out those white lines. All right, so I let my total disc dry, including the double dots. I took that wooden knob, painted it black, and I used some crazy glue and glued it on. And then I finished up the side doing a little bit more dot painting. If you like this video, smash that like button, share this video, and subscribe to this YouTube channel, and I will see you all next time.